Hey everybody, Andrew Morrison back here again. Another Straw Bale Minute. Let's start at the bottom, foundations. What kind of system do you want to use for your foundation? Do you want to go with a slab on grade and run radiant floor heating in it? Do you want to do a, a walkout basement, a full basement? Uh, or maybe just a stem wall and then a frame floor over the top of the crawl space. All of these are options with Straw Bale Construction. Now, another thing you can do to improve the environmental quality of this foundation is you can use fly ash in your actual new fresh concrete. If you're doing a slab on grade or a widened footing or something like that, you can also use rip wrap, which is basically you can pull out old existing concrete, smash it all up, and throw it back into uh, the forms, and then pour in and around it. You need to use a slurry or a wetter concrete mix so that it can get underneath all of that, uh, that old concrete to make it uh, uh, solid again. It's a great way to minimize new use of concrete. So it doesn't matter what necessarily you use as your foundation because any option is available to you with straw bale, but make the attempt to keep it green. Again, fly ash, uh, minimizing new, new use of concrete, uh, minimizing concrete in general. You can do riprap foundations, all kinds of different things. So if you have questions, you can email me about it or you can do some research online on all of those. There's lots of information out there and uh, make your decision and start with that decision and stay with it. That way you don't change your mind halfway through and say, oh, why did I do a slab on grade? I want to do carpet on the downstairs and now it's going to be a mess because I have to glue it down and, and so on and so forth. So you want to start and really pay attention from the beginning. The more you pay attention, the greener your house will be. See you next week.